Well, good evening, Interbet fans, and welcome to the preview for Turfentine. We're on the Stanside track, as you can see. It is a Friday evening, so get all the latest updates on Saturday morning, uh, plus uh, any movers in the betting. Let's kick off with this nine-race program. 3.5-metre false rail to the 700-metre mark. We're on the Stanside, as I said, 24 pentrometer. There's been a bit of rain, and uh, that will help the horses. First race, maiden plate fillies and mares, 1,000 metres. Well... I think the top two, Enchanting Lady, Wait for Green, they look like a two who are going to improve. But be very careful of Clinton Binder. He's got three nice runners in the race. I think Feather Dancer was straight him. Big up from Sabisa Sasebo. Uh, I did tell you, um, straight him will ride him to sleep at this stage of his career. Smashing drifted like a barge last time and ran accordingly. And that's always an, an indicator. And then La Chance, the other Binder runner, not a bad first run, ran on nicely, so not all cut and dried and not an easy race to start off with. Race two, fillies and mares made in place, 1,400 metres. I'm going strongly as Zenobia's gold. I see it's very short in a betting, but Lorena reported. I think that's a big plus and looks like the horse to beat. Head of the speed ratings, Arabian Red, number two, but you might have more to fear from Illa de Orange, uh, number seven, the Hudalakis runner. And the crown, watch for any support for this, it's 9-2 to two in the early betting. Race 3, maiden plate, uh, 1,400 metres. I'm going strongly with one mastership. I think this is the right horse. And uh, last time they backed it to exclusion and there was a jockey inquiry. I see Mujan gets the leg up again, which means that um, he can vindicate himself and uh, arrive on this one. Big danger's got to be 9, Mocha Frappe. Um, a nice two runs and looks like it's got to improve some here. Um, draw a little bit of a concern, but I can't see anything else that um, could beat Mastership. Maybe Policy of Truth. Race four, first leg of the pick six, 1160. Uh, handicap, uh, strong one, Dreamland. I think that uh, Gavin Larina is appointed towards this one. He rides the first choice for the uh, Werner's horses. San Simon. I think he's a better horse, funnily enough. Course and distance, 2-1-1. Henny Crailing, well, he certainly doesn't get many opportunities, but um, if he's on the burn, this horse could be a really, really big runner, and I think the danger to both of them is Turbo Power, the Terry runner with Muzieni aboard it. Race 5, fillies and mares, 1,000 metres. Hard to look past time for Orcas. It's got 10-point penalty for winning its last three starts. The handicapper seems to think they're hamstrung by a horse winning a graduation plate, but they should have got six points for each of those wins. So she looks extremely well in here. And she's won two from three over the distance. Global Thunder might be a bit of a player, but will it get 1,200 metres? Ice Star's got very good form, gets three and a half off its back. That's number three. Wings Within Me got form as well. Uh, Rani Couture, who knows how good this one is. Kamalo for Magna. And then uh, Woman of Power, Virgin River in the same colours. Uh, I think Virgin River with the four kilos off its back, 48, might be a player. But uh, she doesn't. Ha she has lots of soundless issues. Race 6, mer merit rated handicap, uh, 2,000 metres. Well, 6 and 7 look like Derby trials. There are a couple of three-year-olds here looking to um, stamp their mark. And Marauding Horde looks like he's on the up very quickly. He's only off an 89, this horse. He's won his last two extremely easy. Lots of these horses that win well early in their career get more than 89 first wins. So I think that this horse is probably still really well in here, um, Marauding Horde. And uh, this looks like a perfect prep for the Derby, Derby but he's uh, 4 to 10. Uh, so what else is there? Uh, I thought number five, Fushimi and Nari, another three-year-old's got to get uh, three kilos from Marauding Horde, and then seven to the rescue. I always fancy this horse. I think he's a big, leggy, uh, backward horse, and he will improve. Race seven, mirror rated handicap, 2,000 meters. Well, I'm going for home of the brave, the um, Zaki horse. Now, we find one of Zaki's horses, um, nuclear, something or other, during the, on Thursday. I can tell you this looks like another one. Absolutely perfect for me. Course and distance, 2-1-1. Last time, 2,000 metres, it won readily beating the stable companion or beating Fabian Habib's horse. Maybe it was Fabian's horse, but Tyrone and Fabian are two different people. Anyway, Dennis Schwarz gets a leg up, um, and it's gone 16-15 its last two runs. It's now 2,000, which is his preferred distance. 
Huge, huge each way chance. Viva Brazil looks like it's reading up with a um, derby. Uh, and then the older horses, obviously, uh, Raffles, Willow's Wish, Battleground, and poor little Rich Girl, who only got two points penalty for winning last time. Wow. Won readily and all types of problems in the race. Are they watching the races, these guys? No, they're just uh, betting on, uh, giving them penalties on how far they beat the second horse. That's what it looks like to me. Race eight, uh, mirror rated handicap fillies and mares, they go uh, 1,600. Strong one October fair. Blinkers on it, third run, ready, Kamalo, everything points to this one. The three maiden winners, Happy Mo, Sam Machine and Kissing Machine, the three, four and five. Who knows how good they are, the time's so close together. The horse that might upset the apple cart would be six mighty goddess. Uh, Muzzy's getting, getting a tune out of this one. Could go really, really well. And um, then, who knows, nine Solidiva. Pichetti's ridden this twice and ridden it very, very well in his last three starts. Could go well with 52 on his back. Race nine, there's a merry rated handicap that goes 1,600. One Mary's green light is a class. She's been running in features. She's the one they've all got to beat. Be very careful of four ma uh, magical flight with the claim. If it gets to the front, it loves the course and distance. Could go really well here. And then at the bottom of the weights, you've got Mizzen Sale, I think is a really nice filly, and she's probably getting ready for the Oaks. And then Quiet Rebellion. Wow, Calvin's ridden it the last twice. Uh, it must improve over the 1600 and uh, 211 course and distance, so it should be a player. So, from Interbet and James Goodman, that's the play. Have a great day's racing at Turfentine tomorrow.